So my name's Brittany, and I have a little bit of an obsessive compulsive disorder with art. And today I told myself I was gonna start painting with oils again. So I'm not a pro painter by any means, and I used to play with oil paints, but it's been like 12 years or more. How old am I? 29? <laughs> uh, probably 12 years since I touched an oil paint or a brush like that. So I decided I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna get cray, cray. So I went to the store and I bought all new stuff. So I'll show you really quick what I bought. Not Paw Patrol, but I bought colors, brushes, thinner, cleaner, um, palettes, papers, and then over here where I'm actually going to paint I got my canvases. So I would give you a tour of my house so you could see that I don't actually oil paint on a regular basis. That's not even mine. I didn't, I didn't do that. <laughs> I wish I did. Um, this isn't a gimmick. I'm not an oil painter, but uh, I used to oil paint for fun. So have, having like seven oil paints under my belt 12 years ago, we're gonna give this go. Oh, by the way, I also need one of those like putty things. Here it is. You know that you like put putty on a wall with? These are my BFFs. Um, that's one of the things I love about art is you can't be like, define my art piece, it's just a painting because you use all kinds of stuff on it. So this is like puttying art, but we're gonna use it with my oil paints too. So, blank canvas, we're gonna start, and I'll take you through this little bits at a time. Don't judge me. So here I've got the colors that I think I'm gonna need. I'll obviously need more than that, but I'm gonna start there. Start small, add more. But my hero, Bob Bross, basically only ever uses these colors. He uses like five colors. But um, yeah, so we're gonna give, give that a go. Okay, so you can see I've got my background now kind of started. And I think I'm gonna add more black and maybe a little bit more blue to it because that's what I want. Um, I'm readjusting to oils. Um, remembering how to blend them smoothly. I have some bristles falling off my paintbrush into the, my picture, that's cool. It's part of the artwork, right? So, there's the beginning. I used those three colors, I already had to refill on the black, which I'm gonna need a lot of because I'm gonna want lots of darkness in these corners. And more black. Get some heavy, heavy black in these corners. So yeah. We'll update you from there in a minute. Whoops. Okay, so I'm starting to add some texture up here. Can you guess what it's gonna be? Now, I want mine to go kind of in a circular motion. So I'm kind of like giving it this downward in circular uh, whatever. I'm giving it a little thingamajig like that. It's coming together. Okay, so I've got that part. Um, Phase one, I think, done. Yeah, that is pancakes on a plate with a paintbrush. Because art and food. All right, so now I'm gonna start with a fan brush. And I'm gonna use a lot of white here. This is hard because I can't hold my palette. I'm holding a phone because I'm ridiculous. Oh, I'm nervous. If this goes wrong, it's no turning back. So I want you guys to remember this. Remember how it looked at this moment. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so remember when I said to not forget what it looked like? Because um, it's not quite turning out how I thought it would. Um, but yeah, we're coming along. Any guesses yet? So, trying to pull some stuff together. Um, got more guesses now. It's becoming a little bit more obvious. And it looks a little bit better as I add some layers and dimension. All right, again, adding more depth, adding more texture. Um, if you have not guessed by now, <laughs> it's space, but um, it's gonna be a specific event in a minute. Oh my gosh, I hate that star. Can you see the star I hate? I also tried to do that like flick thing, flick, uh, to get some stars to happen, and it was terrible. So we blended them into the clouds. Goodbye, flick stars. Now, I'm really nervous about this part because this part up here, I want it to look like lightning, you know? I want lightning storm clouds up here. Do I sound like that lady from Coco, Frida? And what if everything was on fire? Yes, inspired. Yeah, no. So I'm getting some cool colors in here. Um, I'm gonna blend some of this down at the bottom so you can see kind of how I get the blended look. But I'm really scared because this purple is super powerful. And, and as I go in here and start blending stuff, it takes over. See, it just, my white just disappears. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. And I like this blue underneath it. I don't want the blue to go away. I just want to blend this a little bit. It's too s tough of a edge. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back in here and add some white, I think. Makes my white disappear. And I don't want the white to disappear. I don't want my blue to disappear either. I like that blue. That's a pretty blue. Yeah. All right, let's get a little bit of thinner on here. We're gonna blend this really, really blended. It looks almost tie-dye-ish when we blend. And then I'll go back in and add some more distinctive white to my clouds. Don't ask how many paper towels I've gone into. I'm not saving any trees doing this, that's for sure. Okay, so we're gonna kinda just slightly give it this little tie-dye kind of look. There. Okay, I kind of like that. That's cool. I could deal with that. But I need a little bit more white in there. Mm. Yeah, I haven't attempted my... So yeah, I'm really scared. I'm going to do some YouTube tutorials on that first. Alright, I've started with my storm. I'm getting a little going. And, I don't know, some dimension going over here to prepare for my my lightning strikes. I've got a lot of colors going on down here. I wanted a lot of colors. And then I blended them in to get some like tie-dye looks. And then I think if they'll dry a little bit, I'll just go back over it with some white so that I can just redefine that those are actually clouds, but they'll be multicolored clouds. So we're gonna give this a go. The lightning thing, once again, I want you to remember how this looks in case I totally screw it up I have to pause because I have a client coming over <laughs> I have to do her hair but that's probably good give me a minute to like take a step back and breathe and not look at it for a second because the more I stare at it the more I'm like oh I want to blend this part and then it makes it worse and then I'm like oh I want to blend this part and then it makes it worse so I'm just gonna leave it like this for a minute let it kind of dry and settle and bake I'm gonna go do my client's hair and then we'll come back and talk about what I want to do to finish it. Okay? 
Okay. 